guys i hope you're all doing well welcome back to the channel i thought today i would do a bit of a day in the life vlog or in the life vlog it might go over a couple of days what are you doing my rubbish bag missy come here so i trust my rubbish come here come here yeah good girl um yeah you going so um yeah i oh god i'm so exhausted so exhausted guys I'm grateful that my girls aren't bad sleepers at the same time, but that also means they're not good sleepers at the same time. So I'm always struggling with someone's sleep. If you watched some of my previous videos, you would have known that I had a very hellish time with her four month sleep aggression, triggering my PTSD. It was a very dark, horrible place, and I'm so glad I'm out of that. But we're going through a phase with Isla now, who's my three and a half year old. Yeah, no, get that out of your mouth. Why do you have to eat everything? It's not funny. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, she's just going through a awful phase of waking up multiple times on the night. It's like worse than a newborn at the moment. I am so exhausted. She, we, we, it, the habit started where she was waking up in the night and me and Adam were just like, screw it, let's put her in our bed. And then we thought we really need to get out of this habit. Say hello. Say hello. She loves looking at her. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Yeah. Can you wave? Hello. 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 We're nearly mastering the wave. She does do it sometimes. Yeah. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Yay! My clever girl can't believe how big she's getting. She was so big. Um, yeah, so, and then we, and then it started, well, so, yeah, started with us putting her in a, her, our bed, and then it got to the point where we were like, okay, no, we've got to cut, nip this in the bud. So it then was, we would, oh, look, look, do you want a toy? Here we go. She just wants this camera. Oh, look at this big elephant. Oh, he's lovely. Go and play with him. Um, yeah, so, and then it got to the point where we had to lay with Isla till she fell asleep in her bed. But I believe we've become a bit of a sleep association for her and we cannot or she cannot fall asleep without us there and i think that's stemming from her at bedtime and how she's fallen asleep so we used to do books and then it would be like night night go to sleep and we were used to lay with her until she fell asleep but now i feel like when she's waking up in the night she um we're not there and we need she needs us to fall back asleep because we're a sleep association so what i'm doing at the moment is i'm trying to do or me and adam are trying to do a phased approach so we've stopped laying in bed with her and now we are doing your rattle here you go oh that's cute no she's just on the move so i've constantly got to keep an eye on her at the moment like everything goes in her mouth she grabs everything standing up aren't you yeah, so um, now we're sitting at the end of the bed with our backs to her, not not interacting. And then I'm hoping like in a day or so's time, because we've been doing that for a few days now, sit by the door and then sit outside the door and do that kind of gradual, I think it's called the chair approach. We did it, a similar thing with her when she was in the cot around two and that worked after a while. So I'm hoping it's gonna work again and then when she wakes up in the night, she won't call out for us. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have to, what's the time? Go feed this one, cause she might be a bit hungry. Should change your nappy as well? And um, yeah, let's get on with the day. We've got to do shopping, we've got to go, yeah, get some shopping and stuff. Don't worry. Mm. <laughs> Three, so I think I might go for a walk today, try to get my steps up. I have lost half a stone since I think I think I restarted my fitness journey on the 16th of January. Um, yeah, so that's good. I feel like I'm finally getting somewhere and I'm staying on track. I did kind of start and then we all got ill over January, so that set me back a bit, but I'm really determined now to lose some of that weight. I am... Um, yeah, I'm not someone that loses weight easily, um, especially initially. But yeah, I just want to lose it. And I never really lost a lot after Isla and before I got pregnant with this one. But I'm feeling a lot better this time around and ready to go for it. So I'm um, talking about fitness and stuff like that. We're supposed to be going to a fitness class 
today but it's been proving very very hard because of the times and it's like eating into an hour of LED's nap time and every time she goes she's really really awful and she's got to be in a car seat or, or pram or whatever whilst we do it and she just hates it she's so aggy she i just can't i can't bear it because it's so distracting isn't it when you're just trying to do something and your baby is crying at you or whining at you rightly so it must be boring for her and she's tired but yeah so i paid for a six weeks postpartum crossfit course and it's been really good i really liked it but i've only been twice out of my six weeks because three of those weeks the girls were ill like back to back with illnesses so i missed them and I was gonna go today got my gym stuff on and i just i just can't i cannot face it because i feel like it's gonna cause leds naps and sleep to be out of whack and i just can't deal with two children that aren't sleeping because i am near enough on death's door with the sleep so i am going to probably try and do a little bit of a home workout and go for a walk it's a nice day today i bought some gym equipment actually so i'm going to turn my studio my photography studio slash office into a now slash gym as well i'm going to oh i need to order it today i found the treadmill i want well i say treadmill it's more like one of those um walking pads like a really thin one that you can just put under your sofa or fold up i'm not getting the folded one i'm just getting the thin one and i've bought some like resistance bands and kettlebells and some things like that and they look really good so i'm going to start doing workouts at home because i'm going to stop making an excuse for the girls are more, are you drunk or? i really wanted to join a gym actually and i was looking around for gyms with crashes and there was basically one that was feasible for me to go to and i say feasible it's still half an hour away half an hour 40 minutes and it's only open for two hours a day in the morning and i just thought this is not gonna work like really what do you want do you want it realistically with i don't want to have to sign both of them up so i was gonna go on the days that isla was in nursery but then i'm gonna have to do the nursery run try and work in led's morning nap because i just don't want to put her into a crash when she hasn't napped in the mornings um it's just not fair on her and also like the traveling time and it's 40 minutes from our house so even if i didn't do the nap and went straight to the gym Yay. it still would be what near enough an app 40 yeah 40 minutes to an hour 50 minutes maybe um it's because it's completely opposite directions and i just i just don't know i'm gonna it work it with don't with only having two hour time slot just wouldn't work i wouldn't get the time it would just be an, a bit of a logistical nightmare which is a shame maybe when she does drop her morning nap and she's not napping at time anymore i may look into it but yeah it's just not feasible and i just don't want to lock myself into a gym membership when i just won't be able to use it like i'd love to join a normal gym and either go at six o'clock when they open or off in the evenings but again with adam's job he doesn't have a nine to five so i never know from day to day what time he's got to leave to get out the house and i never don't know what time he's going to be back you know it ranges from a normal time to like 10 o'clock at night sometimes he's out the door by six so again as much as i really would love to join the gym and i would love to Oh, you are on one today. I would love to have that hour to myself, just on a treadmill, or whatever. Put my headphones in, just zone out my life. I would love that so much. Like, I really enjoyed going to the gym pre-babies. It's just not feasible at the moment, which is a shame. They need to have more gyms with more crashes, and so more. I'm sure, I'm sure that like hundreds of mums would join a gym if it was more possible to take your baby or like put them in a crash or something like that. Like there just needs to be like who, you know, mums part time that want to lose a bit of baby weight. Like prime target audience. Like why do these gyms not do crashes? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to get my workout stuff and no more excuses. I'm going to work out at home. I'm going to work out around the nap. So I'm going to get Isla involved on the day she's off and just try and really work at it and do it. And 
the Goodbye. main reasons and i'm waffling on there one of the main reasons i did not want to work out from home is because i find a hundred number of one things to do with my time because there always is a hundred one things to do at home isn't there washing cleaning this that the other but i'm really going to try and just prioritize um and work out and lose some weight so yeah that is my waffling and my little bit of a fitness journey update we got me got my shopping you're gonna help me undo it yeah cannot believe it 91 pound later and this is all i've got and i've barely got any meals it's just bits and bobs really lunch bits maybe and a bit of house bits but yeah i thought i'd quickly show you what i've got in terms of this shop it is mainly for my lunches and snacky bits and stuff like that so i i try to eat intermittent fast i try not to have anything in the morning but the thing is, when I was getting hungry, or I was try if I couldn't make it to lunchtime, I was having a snack of an apple, and I told my PT trainer that, and she was like, well, the problem is when you have an apple, you're spiking your glucose because of the sugars. You need to, she said, you've always got to ask yourself, where's the protein coming from when you eat anything? So I have gone and got myself some bits to try and change up my diet a bit. I have got these mango protein yogurts they've got 20 grams of protein so if i cannot make it to lunchtime i'm feeling extra peckish then i'm just going to have one of these yogurts instead of having a apple um i've got myself some carb light wraps and they've got they've got a source of protein in them done and i've got some of these protein bagels because i'm going to try and have bagels and those kind of wraps for lunch it's a bit easier and um yeah i've just been a bit i'm in bad with my lunches but i don't particularly think they've been the best either it's pretty much been ham and cheese cheese i've been having so i've got bits for them so i'm gonna have bagels i was gonna have salmon smoked salmon and avocado one day i have what else have i got i've got my parma ham so what i was gonna do is gonna do a little bit of parma ham and some mozzarella and some green pesto and toast that one day i have i just bought cheeses in general because we like that and i didn't realize that they're doing a smoked one so i thought i'd give that a go got some dairy because i thought isla would like that now she's on the dairy what else um philadelphia for some of my wraps i was going to do a bit of philadelphia with some cut up ham cucumbers and tomatoes in the wraps um i also have i have some sunflower seeds i was gonna either put on the yogurt or put on something um and i've got some pecans and cashew nuts there for snacking as well so i don't snack on other kind of crap loads of yogurts got led some bits and i know like these yogurts like this baby food like this baby food like that hey they're oh nuts as well they're expensive salmon's not cheap like it all does add up but i just needed to get myself in a better track and then i don't know i'm just all for the ease when it comes to led at the moment um baby bells but i might like them or i don't even mind having them as a snack raspberries and grapes because we always eat berries in this house and i actually bought some rusks because i was under the impression that rusks actually had dairy in them and i looked at the back and it says it may contain dairy because it's made in dairy you know, factory with dairy but they don't actually have dairy in them so i thought i'd try them because led's allergy is not severe and i can always tell when she's been like had milk because it always comes out of rash i've got some stirring cooking pots as well again these add up price rise but they're just so easy sometimes when i just cannot think about what to do for her as well as everybody else because she's dairy free but isla's not but isla eats three days a week at nursery then i've got to balance out what we eat and then i'm eating healthy so it's always a bit of a challenge oh she's not happy she's having a little bit of a scream up there i've just put her to bed and she normally does this has a little bit of a scream like full on like but, um honey roasted ham we've got some bacon more stuff purees gherkins because we love gherkins also bought some dairy free spread for elodie in case she wants some toast some toilet toilet 
I don't even know what these are called, these toilet things. Then we put Isla back on milk now, so she's having the big milk with the vitamins. And then more mozzarella. I have my deodorant, I've always used this deodorant, my favourite deodorant, but it's three pound freaking twenty in there as well. Got some instant coffee. Sometimes I cannot be bothered to use the cafetiere. I don't know if I mentioned on another vlog, but we got rid of our coffee machine and we just went with the cafetiere, but some days I can't even bother to do that because I can't bother to clean it out. And we've got some here, yeah, bin bags, very exciting, and some body wash, and that is pretty much what, oh, and last but not least, I've got these really cute leggings for Elodie, I saw them in there and they're gorgeous. They had this really nice top set with them as well, but they didn't have Elodie's size, so I took a picture of the tag to see if I can get them online. But yeah, that's pretty much what 91 pound has cost me and i know where the money's gone it's gone on the the one pound 10 yogurts it's gone on you know these things these snacky things baby foods and stuff like that that's where all the money's gone but yeah i'm gonna put this away and then i think i'm gonna make myself a bagel i think i'm gonna go for parma ham pesto and Pum ham pesto and mozzarella and that's what I'm going to have for lunch. So that dinner has come, or lunch, has come to 436 calories and I've also got some sparkling fizzy flavoured water. So LED is still napping, I finished dinner so I'm going to quickly try and tidy up the house as much as I can. I quickly want to show you some supplements that I've got for Isla. So first of all I've got these melatonin gummies, they're meant to help with sleep and I'm also given magnesium which is meant to help with sleep. I see this brand all the time on Instagram and I, try, I thought I'd try the magnesium. Melatonin gummies, I don't think you can generally buy them in the UK like from shops like Boots or Holland and Barrett, but you can get them online. I think they're more predominantly from the US. Um, well, they say they're made in Canada, so yeah, and it looks like it's distributed from the US. So I'm going to try some of these and see if these help with her sleeping through the night, fingers crossed. I've also ordered her some sleep patches that keep coming up on my ads on Facebook, so I'm going to try them as well. I'll show you them when they've come because they should be coming today. And fingers crossed, all these little bits will help towards getting her to sleep through the night again. <music> I'll gently, 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 yeah, don't grab him. So I pretty much cleaned up downstairs. I didn't bother filming any of that because it's boring. And I gave her some lunch and I'm just sorting out the washing because I must do, a, I'm just gonna try and get up in the chair now for the camera. I must try and, must try, I must do about a load of washing a day now. It's relentless with her weaning now and just Isla generally being at nursery, life and my clothes as well. Hello, where's everybody? You're changing around. Um, where obviously she's weaning, she gets clothes down. Me, I'm changing more often because she just stains everything. And you've got to get them in a wash sometimes really quick, otherwise they're just stained. I normally, what I tend to do is when she's, got something down her i spray it with either vanish or what's it called elbow grease if you spray that hopefully the clothes won't stain and you can wash them out and you don't have to like wash them straight away so uh, it's that like initial period where you just got to catch it but yeah i'm gonna sort these clothes out now try to get a little bit upstairs and then i'm pretty much finished for the day i'm so done now i wanted to go for a walk but I just don't know if I've got time because she's going to need to go down for her last quick afternoon nap. But I'm going to get that in before I pick up Isla. And I'm going to get dinner on and get that ready because by the time I get back with Isla, it's just long. And then we're just running over with bedtime and bath time and everything like that. So I want to try and, as I said, aim for... Get, get your book! That's Goldilocks and the Three Bears, that is yeah um yeah i want to try and get her down at a good time and try and sort this sleep out and plus like literally i am so tired i just go straight to bed like my life is so 
so boring. Like I do these vlogs because I know I like to watch people's lives and feel like, okay, that's real, that's realistic, that looks like my life. But at the same time, I just feel, oh my God, my life is just so boring at the moment. But when you're in the thick of it, when you've got two kids or you've got a baby and it's just like you're churning a wheel all the time. Plans are non-existent. I feel like some, come summer, things will be better. She'll be older. There's just more things going on in summer. So, uh, yeah. But, yeah, these blogs are probably really, really boring. Or I feel they are. But I also know from the flip side, I love watching vlogs like, like, like Day in a Life, realistic, like, mum life vlogs. So, hopefully, you guys do actually enjoy these, even though I am doing nothing exciting <laughs> in these. Oh, my God, my life. Does anyone just feel like... Oh, God. Can't even describe it, really. Just... Like you're on a treadmill that never bloody ends. What are you doing? What are you doing in here? Should you be touching your big sister's stuff? Hey? Should you be touching your big sister's stuff? Hey? You like her room, don't you? So many things to touch. Yeah. So many things to play with. You coming out? You coming out? Got tied to your room now, Missy. Yeah. Do you for a nap? Yeah, I know. I love that naps. Here you go. Right, so I think I'm just going to quickly cook off dinner and then what I'll do is I'll heat it up when I'm ready to eat. I'm doing a massa man curry tonight with B. So that should be pretty easy to cook. I'm pretty sure this is just coconut milk and some spices so i'm going to do that now and then that really saves me some time this evening not having to cook too heavy on my own the world is moving on i'm still standing here can someone please explain to me why i bother or why i did bother to clean this kitchen today look at the state of that Hey, all up my counters that I cleaned today. Hey, you a messy girl, aren't you? You're all right though. You're not messy, are you? Did you have a good day in the nursery? Hey, yeah, you were excited to try one of your sleep gummies tonight and your sleep sticker. Yeah? So I'm literally just editing this vlog and I realised I never signed it off which is typical because I always forget so I'm just signing it off now. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to try my best to be a lot more structured with these vlogs going forward but yeah this is just the random chaos of my life right now. It's real, it's raw, it's realistic so yeah there you go guys. Please give it a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye!